My name is Rodrigo Ramirez and I've been in the STEM program for four years now. And the STEM program has always been something that I can't exactly put into words. It's just impossible because it encompasses so many different things that you are to learn in life. It's such a base of experience, such a base of study, and such a base of just gathering everything you want to do in life and actually doing it in high school. I think you actually have to be able to instruct. When I was an officer, I did. I was a trainer for six years. I did tr teaching, teaching, teaching. I love teaching. You have to actually love it. It's not easy. You have to take very high tech information, very high processing information, and bringing it down to a level where kids can actually understand. In my classes, I'm teaching three, 400 level college material to sophomores and juniors. But I'm making it so that they understand it. This week, we just did fingerprinting. So we took our um, object with the fingerprint on it and we examined it to look for prints. And once we found that print, we took our different powders, so you have magnetic or fluorescent, and we were able to um, go over it with the powder and just make it visible to the eye. And then we would use a different type of tape depending on what the object was, and we'd lift the, ta the tape off and it'd lift the fingerprint with it. And then you get your fingerprint card, place it on the back, fill out all the information. And that report card was basically what we turned in as evidence. And so all of that lab was for the purpose of just learning how to, you know, go to a crime scene, take a fingerprint, or take all the evidence that you need required, pack it, and then send it as evidence. And so that's basically what we did at the lab. All the stuff that I do in forensics, I did as a detective, as a homicide detective, as an ET. I did it. So it makes sense, why wouldn't I teach it? Because then these kids can ask me questions, I can give them actual feedback, and it just makes the class better. Same thing for engineering and for computer science. So I've had Kali all four years of high school, so that's been really cool. I love her as a teacher, she's amazing. She creates all her own curriculum. She spends so much time just putting in the dedication and work for these classes. She'll go out and spend her own money on us to do these amazing labs that these college um, college people are coming back and telling us, like, I didn't even get to do that until my sophomore year of college, and here you guys are doing it in high school. Like, that's amazing. So it's just, it's really great experience. When I first entered as a freshman, I thought that the STEM program was simply just something you take as an honors course, something that you would take to maybe prepare you for college, but I wasn't prepared for how much more it actually was. The biotechnology class allowed me to do labs by myself, it allowed me to do studies by myself. I pretty much felt like I was already a scientist doing stuff by myself, and all the labs was just so amazing to do. We looked at the best schools in the country for college and what they want to be on transcript for these kids because we want them to be ready, college ready. So they take a lot of AP classes, everything's honors, everything is AP. It's very challenging, it's very hard. I actually think our STEM program is probably harder than your freshman year of college. So it's kind of like, wow, that was hard, this is easy. But that's what we want. We want freshman year to be easy for these kids.